Bonjourno agents and welcome to episode 17 of my Feed the Beast Unleashed uh, Let's Play. I'm going to be making a quarry today, at least getting it set up, ba very basic. Um, literally, there's going to be no ender chest set up because I'm not 100% sure where I want to keep it. Um, what we could do though is we could set up a void pipe or something like that just to get rid of all the crap and keep all the goodness. Um, so what we want to do as well is we want to make some upgrades for chest upgrades and stuff like that so we can make some iron chests. It's the first time we've ever done an iron chest in this let's play so far. Um, I'm, I'm not saying I've never done them before but yeah. Um, we're going to need to start off the quarry with some, some gears. Um, or we should make the easiest thing that everyone knows how to make is a, is a diamond pickaxe. You can't have any durability taken off otherwise it won't work. So what we need to do, we've made wooden gears before for some engines. So this, I haven't got enough for the engines at the moment, but I will get that off camera and get all the ingredients off camera in a sec so you don't have to watch me go and collect it. Um, but now um, what you've got to do is we're going to need the following ingredients that's on the right hand side of this inventory now. This is what we're going to need. So wooden gears are made like so, it's just four sticks like so. So that's easy peasy, that is the easiest part. So we get our uh, wooden gears in the crafting bench and we're going to need to upgrade them to stone. So we're just going to do this, so that's easier. Okay, so we turn them to stone gears. So it's pretty much the same kind of pattern. So what we need to do is we're going to need to make... Um, every, every one of these has got to be upgraded to at least an iron gear. All seven of them have to be upgraded to at least an iron. But we're going to need to keep three of these for the, for the thing. And then the next two is going to be... Um, we need to make at least all of these gold okay and then we're going to keep two of them gold and then we're going to upgrade the final two to diamonds there we go now if you use dark craft and you get fortune on your pickaxe fortune four um, i think this is t tier three in the infuser i'm not sure um but yeah, get Fortune 4. I think it's yeah Tier 3. Um, get all the Fortune on it. As soon as you see Diamonds, use the Fortune. And you next thing you know, you roll. Diamonds is not too much of an issue, but don't go too mad with them, if you know what I mean. So we've got all the gears. We've got all we need is literally, I think it's like this. A redstone at the top. That goes down there. Kind of a V shape. And then I think these go there. And there you go, there. There you go, we've got the quarry. So that's that sorted. So all we need to do now is make some, I'd say we go at least, is it steam engines now? Let's just type in, type in engine. I think it's Sterling, Sterling. There we go, there do, that do. So all we need to do is make, uh, we're gonna make four pistons. Uh, well, you know, we're gonna make four of these, these run on coal. So these will do for now. I'm wondering if they run on blaze rods. I mean, if we had the fifth blaze spawner, we could literally set this up so they could just constantly run on. Yeah. Yeah, we might do that. I don't know. We're going to have to find that fifth one so we can... The less grinding we have to do, the better. So anyway, I'm going to craft some of these. This is just cobblestone, glass. Uh, pretty easy. So I'm going to craft these and I'll be right back. Right, I think I've got it, so let's make some of these things. Need four of these just to keep our quarry going at a reasonable pace. Probably not the fastest ever, but never mind. There we go, we've got four of these sterling engines. They are going to be awesome. While we're here, I'm going to make some uh, levers. I'm going to need probably just two of these. And one, two. Go. Oh, I hear a zombie. Okay, so now we're pretty much set to go, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Let's pop on back to the uh, little underground quarry. Because it's out of the way. I think quarries are all great and that. It looks very industrial. But I want to keep this place looking as, as clean as possible, really. And anything kind of like a quarry needs to be hidden, I suppose, now. I've kind of got a. And it's also new. It's a new approach for me. So let's do what we were planning to do and grab this uh, quarry and slam it down here. There we go. We should see. Yeah, so it goes up uh, one, two, three, four, five. 
five blocks it goes up. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to grab another chest. Uh, let's just get low, let's get um, 16 logs worth, which should give us just over a stack. And let's actually no, ignore that. Um, no, we do need to do that. Sorry. So we're going to make a chest, and I think it's this to do it. Yeah, iron chest straight off the bat. Um, what we're going to do, actually, no. While we've got loads of diamond, we're going to upgrade that again, and then upgrade it to a diamond. Eh? How do you make a diamond chest then? Diamond chest. Where are you? I'm just going to type in bloody chest. Chest. There we go. Uh, diamond chest. Okay, so it's glass. Uh, six glass, so and then it's two diamonds. That's quite cheap. It's quite cheap, really, to be honest. So I'll let that cook for now, and then we can always start the quarry because it still needs to build. So let's put down the engines. And uh, where should we have the chest? I think we should have the chest just here. Yeah. So let's think, see where else we can. Let's create some more space. I feel a bit claustrophobic here. Okay. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Um, so the chest is going to go here. Um, so what we're going to need to do is make sure we can get have access to underneath it because we need to give it as much oomph as possible, right? So we're going to put on one there. If you hold sneak and right click, you can place it on the side there. And then we're going to need one on the top and one on this side. So actually, I'm going to have to bash it there and there. So I've got enough room here. That's fine. So we're going to plonk a lever there, so that powers these two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab some of that dirt or cobble or anything like that, and we're going to kind of bring it out to there, so we can place this one on there. So that powers those two. Uh, the next thing on the list is to get loads of fuel. We're going to—I want to get a stack for each, so I'm going to need four stacks of cobble, really. Uh, sorry, cobble. Did I say cobble? I said I meant uh, coal. So let's make this chest first, put that in the middle, two diamonds, and that will make a semi big big chest. Oh wow, let's make a diamond chest, do it, let's do it, we're going to need eight, eight bits of sand. So I need to go back to the base anyway, and let's fill this in, because I don't need that there. Um, I'm going to go back to the base, and I'm going to grab some coal, and I'm going to grab um, some glass back at the old shed and I don't have that much energy in, in, in forms of coal actually there's probably still some from these wow this quarry is going to stop pretty darn quick unless we get some better power to it so I'm macerating some uh, cobblestone to produce it into the sand because I'm kind of running out I need eight in total to make our lovely crystal chest I will probably replace it with an ender chest once we get a base set up for storage and stuff like that so anything that comes from the quarry can go into our storage and then uh, we can have logistics pipes hooked up to our storage later on. Uh, logistics pipe seems miles off for now but I really want to get that going but I need to sort out my base, my laboratory base off camera and uh, yeah because I'm planning to have like storage down this bottom part so it can have access to that and maybe feed across into here. The trouble is, the further I am away from the main uh, network of logistics pipes, will take longer to get to wherever you summon it from. So if I'm craft, if I say to logistics pipes, I want you to craft something from over here. The further it has got away, the worse, you know, the, wor the longer it's going to take to get to you. But it's still quicker than crafting it sometimes. Right, let's get this. We need the glass. Oh, I've got to cook these four. So I'll, I'll meet you back at the quarry. Back at the quarry, you're gonna upgrade our diamond chest to a nice crystal one, just for looks, because crystals look, crystal chests look good. Okay, so that's cool. That is so sweet. Okay, so which means whenever you have a quarry, for those that don't know, uh, make sure you have a chest nearby, otherwise all the items will just go everywhere. So what we need to do now is power this. Now we've got very little in uh, in terms of fuel at my base. I didn't realise how little I've actually got. Um, so let's just put all that in there 
and then crank them on. Let's put a little bit more light in here. I think it's a bit too dark. Let's just spam the place with torches. So hopefully this should start building. I can't see anything yet. Let's see, once it gets enough juice inside the uh, actual choir itself, we should see some orange. Um, let's try and oh, better take my jackpack off. We should see some orange uh, kind of girders. Is it girders? Girders? I'm not sure what they're called. In all fairness. Okay. Just gonna step here so I can see a little bit better. Okay, I'm not seeing anything yet. I think maybe it does it from the top. Hmm. Are we getting anything? I'll be right back once I notice something's happening. Okay, so it's burning coal like there's no tomorrow and very little I've got of it. As you can see, it's doing its job. It's actually clearing out the top layer and it's going to make its way down so it can kind of, um, yeah, do its thing. The only problem I've just thought of, and I should have thought about it earlier, is the fact that we may hit lava, and there's a really high chance that we will. And I'm wondering if I'm going to get that coal, because I could do with power in this thing. I don't know if that's going to let me have it. Who knows? I don't think so. I think it just wipes it from the face of the earth. Anyways, so, yeah. We're going to need to kind of, I reckon we're going to need to kind of get some, um, some kind of water. And we're not getting any of that ore back. That's quite harsh. Um, let's just put some of this gumph in here. This would just be the random chest. So, water is going to be, uh, lava is going to be an issue um, unless we can get a lot of water streaming in. I mean, we're mainly under a lake here, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. I'm going to grab some of this coal if I can. I'm going to grab some coal. Actually, I'll use the fortune one so we can get some more. Let's grab, grab a, little, a, little, a little bit of light down there for you guys. So it's got a lot of work to do before we even start. So I'm going to have to leave this running and uh, keep it keep it happy with coal. I'm going to have to go and get... I don't know. I'm, I need to weigh up uh, a bit more energy, maybe. I'm wondering if... Um, I don't know if a uh, geothermal generator will keep it going if I put it next to it. I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, it is doing something. Um, but this is going to be one big, giant, dark room and there's going to be lots of dead monsters by the end of it. Oh, has it stopped? Oh no. I think we're out of, we're out of fuel. No, we're close. Oh. Feed it the last of the coal. I've got some blaze rods, but they ain't gonna last that long, to be fair. Okay, so yeah, it's doing its job. So I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, there's not really much more I want to do in the time that I've got, um, but I do know that it's what it's definitely working because it was I just couldn't see anything happening, but now it's clearing out this like a boss. Um, but the only problem we've got is lava when we hit lava but what I might do is I might let it dig for a little bit and then um, create some infinite water sources that's going to take some time but hey it's gonna it's gonna cause us a, it's gonna save us a lot of hassle but I'm gonna let it do its job and let it clear out all this because I can't be bothered to do all that um, but once it clears out all this and there is some water over there kind of coming in but you know, I don't think it's gonna be nowhere near enough so there's a lot of water we need to put down so I need to get an infinite water source down here and I'm probably going to stick it probably in here just snug out of the way um, I'm just going to stick it in there in that little hole there and then um, at least then I can start working my magic with some buckets and then but I need to get it so it, it digs pretty much probably at least one block so sort of like this deep once it starts building and as soon as it's done that I can get the water source in once it's done the whole lap and then I can uh, yeah lava is not going to be an issue that way so I think that's the plan I'm going to shut her down as soon as I can and why is it not it doesn't look like it's doing anything I'm not 
very sure why he's not doing anything. Let's go and take a quick look. use this other pickaxe. I don't want to break my fortune anytime soon. I mean, water shouldn't really stop it, right? Oh, it's moving. Doing something now. It looked like it got trapped. Well, it's going to be busy for a while. So guys, thanks for watching. This has been episode 17 of my Feed the Beast Unleashed Let's Play. At least we've got a quarry now. We've got a, a nice source of, like, loads of gump. Well, not yet. We ain't got nothing in there yet. Because it needs to clear out. But, uh... I'm going to have to start filling up with blaze rods what I think I might do next episode is while it's doing that um, go and hunt for the final final um, oh, what's the word I need to look for the final blaze spawner so at least we can get a tier 5 blaze spawner and then just keep um, yeah keep at it with that because I'm going to need lots and lots of blaze rods to keep this this quarry going we are literally getting to the very bare minimum on the bottom of the barrel in regards to fuel. So, uh, yeah. And we need fuel for everything else, apart from the shed. The shed's the only thing that's pretty sturdy at the moment. Um, but we haven't got much power, to be honest, in the, you know, in the, in, on the map. As such, we've got really basic stuff. And we're going to have to gradually up, upgrade. Uh, I'm going to take some of this iron. But yeah, so guys, hope you enjoyed it. We've got a quarry now. That's cool. Um, I'm going to need to get um, the, the blaze spawner sorted soon. So at least then we've got a fuel injection. Um, I could temporarily maybe put it down here. So it kind of feeds into the engines maybe somehow. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to come up with some sort of battle plan. Um, if I build it on camera, so be it. If not, then I'll, I'll, sh I'll get, keep you guys in the loop when I do start recording. I'll, sh I'll show you everything that you've missed. So you can kind of get an idea of what, what you've not seen in the Let's Play on camera. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. You take it easy.